But in the meantime, let's start making some armor. Hello everyone, my name is King Kong Veal, and today I am going to continue reigning in Manor Lords. So last episode, we had claimed another region, uh, this one down here I think, and then the evil baron claimed it back, and we fought, and he totally kicked my butt. And yeah, I lost it. So what I think I want to do, I've got a deep mine here. So what I'm going to try to do is crank out a bunch of armor and use that to buff up my troops and to trade and yeah and see if I can make some money, get a bunch of mercenaries, get a bunch of people so that I can try to fight him off again and you know claim some more of these lands and get back at it. But uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. So uh, without further ado, I need people. So I'm going to make some more houses. Let's make a bunch of houses. Four, five, six, that'll be seven families. There we go. People aren't happy because of taxation. All right, so let's drop my taxes down a touch for now until people become happy again. All right, and let's speed this up. And I'm gonna need some people to do some work. All right, you can get leave the malt house. Let's see, you can leave the clay furnace. I have people foraging. I do have a bunch of people foraging. Oh, I've got two deep mines. Oh, nice. All right, so I can actually trade a bunch of the uh, clay tile or uh, what are they called? Roof tiles as well. So let's do that. I can't afford it. Um, actually, let's see, what of these do I have? So I need to get down this route for the armor making. And I mean, I would love to get these two as well to improve my trading. But I don't think that's going to happen. So let's just work on trading some roof tiles. Export those. Let's keep 20 on hand. Yeah, that'll be good for now. That'll be good for now. All right, and speed up. Speed up. Let's go. I have people in the granary. I do not. Do I have someone in the storehouse? You come out of there. You go work at the granary for now. Let's see how this works. Let's see how the... Marketplace still and fuel's good, food's good, clothing's good. Now let's fast forward. I hate that it slows down every time I see an enemy army. That's really annoying. But nothing I can really do that with that. Let's get another person in the granary. Since things in the British plots are, are getting ruined. But they're working on getting the houses. That'll be good. Yeah, let's build some more. I'm going to need lots of houses. Lots of people. Get eight more houses. There we go. We got 14. We got 30 families already. We got 14 more houses being built. So hopefully this will uh, get done relatively quickly. Let's take you off of the livestock trading so you can help uh, make houses for now. Things are happening hopefully well, but we'll see. I suppose stocks are getting soaked. Alright, come on. Come on, granary. Do your job. Alright, construction finished on one house. 
Uh, two houses. Good deal. Hopefully, our people are uh, hopefully going to be moving in soon. It's nice having it on the fast speed. They build the houses so quickly. Look at this. They're just flying through that construction. Yeah, that's fun to watch. Five empty houses now, and we got approval rating up over 70% again, so that's good. So let's see if I can increase taxes. Protected approval loss minus eight. That should be fine, especially since I'm about 72, 73%. So 8% loss will be still well over 50. Uh, so I will be getting some money as well as people still being happy. We just need people to move in now. All right, there we go. We got a family moving in. Okay, and I've got, let's see, I've got a joiner shop, a Fletcher shop, a brewery. Do I not have a Fletcher shop? Let's check. I, I must have a Fletcher shop somewhere. Okay, so what do I need to level up? Uh, three British plots of three or higher. Okay. Okay, that'll be a little bit. Um, but in the meantime, we'll go ahead and increase some more of these up to level two. There we go. That'll be good. Uh, let's get someone working back in the bloomery. Now that we still have two people. So we've got a stone church. Uh, I've got the tavern. So we've got no one in the malt house, but that's because I've got... So I've got 20 ale. I need a bunch of barley, but I've got none of it coming, unfortunately. Oh, well. All right, we got another family coming. Another family here already. That's good. Put someone in the charcoal kiln. Got two forcers huts going. You work there, and you work there. We're doing good on the construction, so that's good. That's good. That's coming along. All right, I need more fuel. I right, got four months of fuel. That's all right. That's all right. We're doing okay with that. I need the families to come to show up. 56% approval rate, and there's another family. That's good. So we got fall coming soon. So I'm going to need to transfer people over to the farm to harvest. So that's growth 100%. That's 100%. That's... All right, we're going to get full harvest from all of them. That's good. That's good. The nice thing about leveling these up to uh, level two is get a little regional wealth from each of them. If I can level them up to three, I'll get even, even more. Go ahead and just level everything up. At least everything on this side. Right, let's set these as higher priority so we can get more people moving in. Yeah, I get them moving in so that we can uh, get more families to do things. All right, so I've got a thousand influence. That's good. But I need 2,000 to claim things now, now that they own them all. I'm not sure what the next one I want to claim will be. Probably this one, honestly. Get, try to get this one back. But it will be a while before I do that because I got to build up my troops and my money and get better troops and better armies so that I can, you know, actually try to, to win the fight. 
Oh, uh, we need to harvest. Let's see. You come off of there. 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 And there we go. All right. Go harvest. Go harvest. Yep, I know unassigned families need reconstruction work. But I need them for harvesting more importantly. Yeah, policy. So I, I'll look at those. Um, so I don't have a rich deposit of wild animals. Uh, I don't really want to do that. It's, my food consumption is fine. I've got seven months of food. I'm not worried about the food. It's more the fuel that I'm worried about. Which means I might want to get another woodcutter's lodge up here shortly. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull you off that. And get another woodcutter's lodge up. Set that as very high priority. All right, so now I should work on this woodcutter's lodge first. All right, that is all harvested, it looks like. These are almost done as well. Nice, they finished it in September, which is awesome. And they are starting to work on plowing. Plus, so we'll have barley, wheat, Fallow, barley, barley only 16% there, wheat only 37%, barley only 22%. So I won't get much barley, but a little bit's better than nothing, I guess. Alright, you go to the Woodcutter's Lodge. Yep, alright, we're doing alright. Another uh, development point I want to get is the sheep breeding. So I want to get armor making, advanced armor making, master armor making, and sheep breeding. So I need four more policies. Uh, this will help me you know, get clothing and or get things for clothing and um, get, uh, what's it called? I can sell the sheep for, for money. All right, that's almost done plowing. That's, that is done plowing. They're sowing it. Nice. All right. We're doing pretty well on that. All right. All my British plots are upgraded level two, except for, well, yeah, all of them up working on upgrading are. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Now I just need those to be made. Let's see. That's done. That's done. That one will get will get done in time. That's almost done. New family, all right. Good deal. And this one's just about done being sewn. There we go. All right, so y'all can all come off of that. Let's put one of you there. One of you there. One, of you, one there. One there. Uh, no one in the malt house. Clay pot. And clay furnace. I'm working on building a couple more houses. All right. All right. The foragers are done. That's fine. Let's put you there. You there. Now they're in the bloomery. Another in the deep mine. And once these are done, 
I'll put another one in the storehouse, I think. Maybe another one in the woodcutter's lodge. All right, well, let's put another one in the storehouse now. So we got another family moved in. All right, so we've got 37 out of 43 houses filled, and we got another house coming. How much stone do we have left? Almost none. Might as well go ahead and finish that up. Yeah, the house isn't quite done, but it's almost there. Socks damaged by bad weather at the food stall. Interesting. I didn't think that could happen at the food stalls. Right, let's put you to work at the saw pit. All right, and we are growing. We are making money. Starting to make money. Getting some good influence. Um, first plus three or higher. Or three, three or higher. All right, let's look at where we've got food, uh, things covered. Oh, yeah, I need some better clothing. That's what I need. All right, so let's make a cobbler's workshop. Yeah, I don't know where that family got taken from, but that's fine. Uh, I'll need someone to, to work on that, won't I? Right, let's get you to work on upgrading this cobbler shop. And now you'll go back to work on clay. So that we can sell those. And make some money. And we got a new family moving in. All right. I think I'm actually going to make another forester's hut. Uh, yeah, make it there. All right. Yep. Things are coming along. I might go ahead and just upgrade everything to level to at least eventually maybe not immediately but I probably will eventually upgrade pretty much everything to level 2 and make that money I forgot some pretty good regional wealth already alright woodcutter's lodge is full that one alright well um, these guys need to get work get to work <laughs> Uh, but I want more trees. Uh, y'all grow trees there. All right, new family. Let's put them in the storehouse. Enemy unit has been spotted. I see these guys down here. All right, that's fine. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And we've got a couple of boots. Enemy unit spotted. Fine. All right, let's upgrade. Some of these as well. Why did I disable the blacksmith? Why did I disable these weapon? manufacturers. It's not like I've got a huge store of weapons. Let's unpause these, at least for a little bit. Alright, there we go. Oh my gosh. Fine. I know, I see the enemy troops. That's fine. I'm not worried about them. But I need people.
Who are they fighting? Fighting some brigands. Okay. Um, well, let's get my army up. See if I can get down there in time to to help. No, it doesn't look like it. Don't look like that's gonna happen. But we'll give it a shot. Nope. Alright, disband them. Okay. That's too bad. I was hoping to get down there and, and help out. But that didn't happen. How much burr do I have? 20. It's fine. Let's see. Someone at the tavern. See if I can upgrade some of these to level three real quick. So I need three for the level for the next level. And I can't remember what I need after that. Five maybe. Let's see if I can get some of these going real quick. All right, I'm out of uh, timber. Hopefully we'll get some more of that soon. Oh, I got 63 in my treasury. 63 more in my treasury. From taxes, I guess. I've got three leveling up, so that's good. Let's make another logging camp. When I can. There we go. Well, I've got, as I said, three under construction. But I need more. I need timber. I need timber. Y'all build trees or plant trees here. Uh, you guys. Just clear the work area. Plant trees wherever. And how many do we have? Alright, that's four. Let's upgrade that. I just wanted to try to crank through a bunch of these while I have the um, the beer. So the sooner I get the beer, the sooner I get uh, leveled up, the better. There we go. There we go. Development point is unlocked. So let's do some armor making. And I need 10. I need 10 that are level 3 or higher. Okay. But in the meantime, let's start making some armor for my guys. Do another one there. Alright. So, let's keep leveling up these level 2s to level 3s. So I can get to that 10 and start getting even more armor. So I want to get to advanced armor making. As quickly as I can. You know what we're going to do. You stop. That'll help limit the use of the planks. We'll upgrade that to level two. Or up to level three. Armor shop is completed. All right, let's stop that production for now. So I need 
more food. My food supply is rough. I might be able to import some stuff. It's just so expensive. Food is so expensive to import. I mean... 12 to import a meat? No, thank you. That's insane. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? Got been getting no berries. Oh, man. I totally forgot about the berries. Now it's almost the end of summer, and I hadn't gotten any berries. And that sucks. That really sucks. But at least now I should start getting some armor. That's good. Alright, so I'm at 6 out of 10 British plots level 2 or higher. Or level 3 or higher, rather. Let's go ahead and bump all these up to level 2. Well, I think that is probably going to be it for me for this episode. Uh, we did a lot. Um, we grew our city our town, our village, a ton. Uh, we start making armor. So that's good. That's good. And um, we've got some good money. Got a bunch of people moving in. Got some good regional wealth. We've got some good money in the treasury. We're starting to work on the influence. Uh, what we just need is to level up three more British plus to level three so we can start making some actual armor as opposed to just the helmets and then we can get up to master armor making and I also want to do sheep breeding but we'll get to those when we get to them so with that I am going to call it here so thank you all for joining I hope you enjoyed it uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to reclaim my rightful land over here in Imaruth. 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 Ruth. However the heck you pronounce it. And I'll be able to start working on whittling away at the uh, Evil Baron's lands. So be sure to check out some of my other playthroughs and my other channel, uh, Kongville Survives, if you enjoy survival games. With that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, however much of it is left, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.